So currently we're in our Tool University facility here at AIMCO, and we are going to be working with the IEC platform variant of the Acrodyne ACE Generation 4 controller system. So what you see on the wall here is the controller that's set up for uh, factory use or inside an operational use with the touchscreen and the LEDs that uh, display the torque and the angle that are delivered by the tool to a joint. Uh, if you were out in the field and using our IEC 4W series, which is the uh, controller that is uh, built into a ruggedized weather-resistant Pelican case, all of the software features and calibration details that we will discuss in this video will be identical. We have an Auditor AHCTS 5000 series test bench, and this test bench will be used in our discussions today on calibration as the master transducer. So within this test stand is a stationary transducer and a rotary rundown fixture to which the tool has been set upon, and it will judge torque separately from the controller. So then we can then compare the results that the controller sees from the internal integrated transducer from the Acrodyne HT series tool and look at the measurement that is captured by the AHCTS 5000 series test stand. This test stand is calibrated on a yearly regimen to NIST standards and uh, is a recognized as a master level transducer or a auditing device at locations around the world. So what we're going to be doing next is my assistant is going to be running the tool and you will see a value displayed upon the controller's LED screen and the curve produced on the touch screen below it. And we will then look at what our AHCTS 5000 or our master transducer observes for reported torque and compare the two. So you'll see on the IEC controller, we observe 2,002 newton meters and 65 degrees of angle. And you'll see on the AHCTS 5000 that we see 2,134. So we do have a disparity between what the master transducer sees and the controller has reported. So the tool says it delivered 2,002 newton meters, but the stand says we delivered north of 2,100 newton meters. And we will now show you how to bring those two into agreement. Okay, so in all the controllers, the software is the same. So I'm going to first go to my home screen by hitting the house button. And then I'm going to go to the tool because that's when I'm going to be adjusting. And I'm going to go to a very nice feature called Torque Calibration Routine. And Torque Calibration Routine is telling me that the factory's calibration value for the tool when it was built is 128. And the current calibration is 120. You'll notice the model number and the serial number of the tool are shown in the top portion of the screen, and that is picked up by the tool's Tool Identification Board, or TID, and that information lives with the tool. So no matter where this tool goes, on whichever controller you connect him to, the calibration value will follow the tool. So to perform our test, very simple, to bring these two items into agreement, the test equipment and the controller. I'm going to hit Start Calibration, and you'll notice it instructs me, run the tool down to final torque, which we will now do. So we're running the tool to its final torque. And you're going to notice that the test equipment says we had 2,148 newton meters of torque at the test stand. So now it's very clear. The instructions on the controller tell you that I'm going to enter the torque value that was seen by the test equipment, whether it's the AHCTS or something you believe in as the master of torque, and press send. So I'm going to enter that value, and that value was 2,148. That is what the master transducer saw. I'm going to hit the check mark. Now I'm going to send the new values to the tool. By doing that, you notice that it automatically made a calculation and change the current cal value to 128. We are now going to get prepared to run the tool another time and see if we brought the two items into agreement. So we're running the tool after we have performed that calibration routine. Stand is showing us 2016. And the controller now is showing us 2013, essentially in total agreement. So we would tell you that you should do this procedure a minimum of three times. We like to recommend five. That way we eliminate any high and low flyers, any anomalies in the test, and then your calibration is complete. 
You can then go ahead and follow whatever procedures you have to run off the tool and produce your calibration certificate. So to close, in essence, you have the Acrodyne system with a controller, cable, and its tool, and you have an auditing device. Of course, AIMCO can provide you that auditing device or whatever auditing device is approved locally for use that follows locally approved calibration standards can be used as your master, and there is no special software, no downloads, no licenses required to perform what you saw us do with the torque calibration routine that is an integral part of the ACE Generation 4 Acrodyne Control Platform.